Theo has officially launched their latest premium DAC headphone amplifier. Now, this is the K15 model. Uh, it's a step below the K17 that's more expensive and much more powerful. This model is slated to be on the same level as competing brands like Shed Asgard X and Shanling EH2. So this model uh, has a lot of features. It's quite powerful. It's relatively affordable. Uh, it's a desktop DAC solution that offers you balanced audio output. Uh, it also has Wi-Fi, it has Bluetooth, and the price is, is reasonable at $550, at least when you compare it to competing models like the Asgard X from Shade Brand. Uh, you know, this model is also going to be able to pair well with the company's uh, S15 music streamer. Um, you know, they also have so many new products they've just launched this year that's uh, setting a lot of waves in the audio business like their M21 um, DAP. You know, they also have their K17 headphone amp, amp model that I've already uh, talked about. But this model is good. You know, it's really, really good. Uh, you know, the, it's an alternative if you don't want to spend a lot of money to buy the K17. Uh, the, you know, the K17 is about $1,000 in price tag. So this is a lot more affordable. And inside the K15, you get a dual AKM DAC chips. You get the AK4497S DAC chips inside from, um, from the Velvet Sound series. Uh, so, you know, they also have this particular uh, idea that they want to deliver precise digital to analog conversion while maintaining clarity from low to high frequencies with minimal distortions. Uh, so they go on to say that this particular K15 is the first product to implement those flagship AKM chips in a dual configuration uh you know so they also say that you're gonna get one of the very best sound quality and it's very powerful it can deliver 3000 milliwatts per channel which is fantastic meaning you can use it for high-end headphones uh you know it will be able to power headphones quite easily now the k15 uh also has uh, you know this 32 bit 768 kilohertz uh high resolution support there is dsd 512 support it supports mqa uh you know you get eximos xu316 support it is room ready it has airplay support it has LDAC and Aptex HD support. So it's really, really stacked. It's really, really stacked. And it, it has a fully balanced uh, connection uh, with it. You know, it has everything you need. And if you're comparing it against the K17, the most different uh, things here is the DACs you get inside. Uh, the K17 comes with two uh AK4191 and uh another two AK4499 EX flagship DAX inside. So it's it's a better DAX system in the K17. Uh both of them still come with the same 3.93 inch LCD display. Both of them have Bluetooth 5.1 uh, both of them have the support for all Bluetooth codecs from SBC, AAC, Aptex, Aptex HD, uh, Aptex Adaptive, and LDAC. So both of them have that. Both of them support MQA. You know, the major difference is that you get 31 band professional grade uh, lossless parametric EQ with the K17, while you get only 10 band parametric EQ on the uh, 15, the K15. Uh, both of them, you know, have 32-bit, um, uh, 768 kilohertz support and even DSD 512. So, look, they have similar features, uh, similar features, similar performance. It's just that the K17 is slightly better uh, in terms of, uh, you know, what it offers in, in terms of quality. And the internals are slightly better than the K15. Well, other than that, uh, if you are interested in buying the K15, it's going to be available for purchase on the 1st of August from next month. 
uh, like I said, price is $550 in the US. Uh, if you're buying it in the UK, it is 500 pounds. If you're buying it in the other European market, it's going to be 600 euros. I'll drop details down below for you guys. If you're interested in getting your hands on the brand new Fio K15, do subscribe to the channel, do like our content. I'll see you guys very much next time.